yeah, speaking of snow globes, let's uh, let's turn this up. You know, folks, it's it's mid October, <laughs> and so you know what that means. It is time to uh, begin to man the battle stations, ladies and gentlemen. The war on Christmas is we, you can almost hear the battle cries now. I give you Eric Trump. You had Obama that literally, you know, weaponized the IRS to go after, um, you know, Christian organizations and, yeah, and did so absolutely viciously. You know, you had a cognizant effort to get rid of the word Christmas. I mean, they were calling it a holiday tree uh, during the Obama administration. It wasn't until my father came in and said, listen, we're going to call it a Christmas tree because we celebrate Christmas as a nation. Uh, but, but faith is under attack. Families under attack. And what's more important to society, to communities, to you know, kind of healthy children to prosperous children to, you know, a safe streets than than God and, and religion and, and the teaching of the commandments and, and so many other great things. Right. And um, I, I can't. I remember no when I was teaching <laughs> my boys the commandments. First one is you can grab them by the vige if you're famous. That's the <laughs> commandment number one. Commandment number two, it's the third stall at uh, Studio 54 where the good stuff is. Third stall. Commandment number four, never, ever, ever use your email, never write it down. You're only on phones and on other people's phones. Other people's phones, not your phone. And then I got lost. I couldn't count that high. How many times do you think Trump has been to church? Well. <laughs> <laughs> it sat through the whole thing where it wasn't like a product for PR. Ooh. Well, that's not fair. That's not fair. I mean, I wish I got credit for going to all those masses. That is amazing. Um, it is amazing, this war on Christmas shit. How durable it is. My God. They're rallying the faithful. I don't know. Very difficult. I mean, Eric obviously got the short stick, and he's like, you got to go out and make sure. There may be some people who are a little bit upset that uh, we were going to hang Mike Pence, but maybe not. Remember Trump's 2020 election interference case? He pled not guilty, but only after making it clear that he, quote, had every right to do so. Ground News found 90 sources covering this with significantly less reporting from the right. And going through these articles, you can see there's no mention from conservative outlets of what looks like Trump's confession. Now, the left points this could be the very thing that helps Jack Smith finally convict him. This type of selective reporting is the exact problem we've been talking about with today's news. Rather than adding clarity to an already confusing election season and political landscape, the news can easily contribute to it. That's why we're longtime partners of Ground News. Their platform is designed for people who want to go beyond the headlines to deeply understand today's current events from every perspective. And with Trump and Harris often at the center of very selective reporting, I highly recommend following uh, the news on the debate and the rest of their campaign here so you can avoid being manipulated by the news you see and the news you don't. I think their mission directly aligns with what we try and do here on our show. Plus, they're independent and subscriber funded. But my viewers get 40% off their top tier vantage plan. Go on to ground.news slash majority or scan my QR code to compare coverage with context you can't find anywhere else. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.